In this video, we will see an overview of eSub's cloud-based construction project management software that is made specifically for subcontractors. eSub project management software seamlessly links the field and office. Team members can easily enter data, site events, labor activities, material costs, workforce information, and more into a fully searchable database updated in real time. We will take a look at how three different team members utilize eSub software throughout their day. Let's start with Justin, the project manager, who is beginning his day in the office. Upon login, the project manager is taken to the eSub portal where you can see all of the concurrent projects his company is currently working on. Justin now selects the project he is currently working on. That takes him to the project summary page where he can see the 30,000 foot overview of the project. Here he sees the map of the job location, weather conditions, and upcoming project milestones in red. Scrolling down the page, you can see what we call the Big Six. Contract amounts, daily reports, RFIs, change orders, submittals, and purchase orders. Moving further down the page, he can see the project milestones. He is able to track estimated date versus actual date. And below that is the project notes along with any photos that have come in from the field. Since eSub uses cloud-based technology, all of this information displayed in the project summary is updated in real time. Let's switch over to Tyler, the field worker, who is currently on location at the project job site. Tyler has been working in the field and noticed there was a job site condition that he needs to document and send off to the project manager. Using his phone, Tyler logs into the eSub Fieldworks mobile app. Upon login, he is taken to his project list. He clicks the project he is working on today and selects field notes. From here, he can create a new field note by pressing the add note icon in the top right corner of the app. Now he snaps a photo of the wiring issue he ran into. Once the picture has been captured, he can then annotate the image to highlight the problematic wiring. Using the talk to type function, he can add a detailed description of the issue. The control panel is in the way of the heating vent. Once he saves the field note, it is automatically loaded to the project file. Let's switch back over to the project manager who is in the office. Justin has just been informed that there was a new project note that needs his attention. On the project summary page, he can see the new field note with the attached photo that is coming from the field. The field notes are laid out nice and clean with the project information and timestamp. After reviewing the field note, he needs to send off a request for information. Back on the project summary page, he navigates to the RFI section and proceeds to the RFI log. The RFI log is very intuitive. Justin is able to see which RFIs are late, which RFIs have been answered, and that information translates in real time to workers in the field. Justin now clicks Create RFI. He can now enter all of the RFI information needed for the document. Then he clicks Save. The RFI has now been created in the RFI log. In the Action panel, he can use the paperclip icon which will take him to the Attached to RFI page. Clicking eSub file, he attaches the corresponding field note. Now that the PDF has been attached, he reviews the document before sending to the GC. eSub has now generated an RFI with the attached field note that is very clear and easy to read for the receiver. Now that Justin has approved the RFI, he can send it on its way. As soon as the RFI is sent, eSub tracks the outgoing and incoming emails. Once the general contractor opens the email, they can view the attached RFI. The GC is able to quickly see what needs to be addressed in the RFI. They can then respond to the RFI by clicking the link directly within the email or replying to the email. As soon as the GC responds to the RFI, it is updated in the RFI log, and now visible to the worker in the field allowing him to continue his work. Now let's switch back over to Tyler, who has just completed his day and needs to create a daily report. Tyler can enter his daily report using his phone from any location. On the project screen within the eSub mobile app, he selects the daily report log. From here, the field worker can use the talk to type function on his phone to fill out all of the daily report details and if needed, attach images as well. Once the daily report has been saved, it is immediately visible to the project manager in the office. Let's switch back over to the project manager in the office. From the project summary page, Justin can navigate to the daily report log. Here he can see all the daily reports for this project. 
He clicks the magnifying glass icon to view the daily report that has just come in from the field. He can pick which data he wants to be displayed on the daily report. ESUB now generates a clean branded daily report PDF that he can review and forward in an email if he needs to. Now he needs to approve the time entered from the daily report. From the ESUB portal, he clicks on the time card management icon. That takes him to the time card log where he can review all the crew members' time entered for this week. He now approves all the hours entered from the daily report. Back in the time card log, he can export a CSV file from the time card. This file can be imported directly into the company's accounting package, which will generate perfect time card data. And now let's switch over to the executive. The executive is going to want to see the overall health of all projects. In corporate management, the first screen he will see is the corporate milestones page. Here he can see all the projects, how much they are worth, and the status of milestones, whether the company has made them or missed certain milestones. From here, the executive can jump right into daily reports. He can quickly see hours worked, hours lost, and any comments on the daily reports. He can even dive into the specifics to see the details of the report, or why there was hours recorded lost. Within corporate management, the executive can also see change orders across all projects. The cost of all change orders is displayed along with their status. He can quickly jump into a pending change order and see the details. All correspondence is logged with the attachments so he can see where the last point of communication was and if he needs to take action. Now the executive needs to take a look at the overall labor efficiency of all company projects. On the percent of efficiency page, he can quickly see an overview of the labor details across all projects. Going down the columns, he can see the cost, hours worked, hours remaining, percent complete, and all those will translate to percent of efficiency within the project. If he needs to see where exactly a project is falling behind, he can dive down from building, to floor, to job type, all the way down to individual crew member performance. By using eSub, Carter Construction now has optimized documented processes and real-time accurate data to work with. Because of this, they are continuing to reduce costs and increase profits on every project. For more information, please visit esub.com.